hello beautiful heavenly here um filling you in on my life and revelations and ridiculousness i um had a pretty like bad breakup after my sister passed we went our separate ways and uh i haven't i haven't reached out i haven't contacted i haven't anything like that not because like i'm afraid but just to set boundaries he was my friend and um he did some things that friends don't do to each other i haven't gone out with um anybody from that crew or uh or anybody any places that i might run into him i changed my gym to avoid running into him so um i was invited to a party the other evening and i didn't know that i got an invitation i hadn't seen them and i felt bad because they came to see me they're good people they're loving people really sweet um always positive energy always good things to say both of them this couple they're just they're really genuinely great people and I, I wanted to see them messaged them asked if they need anything they said no so i headed over there before i headed over there though i checked the guest list to make sure that my, my ex wasn't going to be quite frank looked on the guest list didn't see him on there and i was like safe go to the party walk in the door see the house it's beautiful it's gorgeous walk into like the common room like game room and lo and behold there he is he stands up walks out leaves the party not a word not a bye not a nothing just leaves the party and it was uncomfortable because it makes me feel like like a party pooper and that's part of the reason i hadn't wanted to go anymore because i'm real i'm just a real person i'm sincere with my feelings i'm forthcoming with my thoughts i tell you what i think it's just who i am so if you ask me and you engage me i will tell you I feel morally obligated to let you know where it is I stand or whatever issue that you come to me with. So there's like this elephant in the room. It's uncomfortable and it's palpable. I say hi to everybody. They say hi to me. They're civil, but you can, you can feel it. I feel bad. Like it's just kind of like, it's kind of a downer. I haven't wanted to go to anything involving everybody because that just, I feel that way all over again. This has been like a year and a half, I haven't done anything, and um, the party goes on, we play spades, we do stuff like that, and it's like, um, it's comfortable, and it isn't. It's comfortable because there are people I, uh, that are really sincere, loving there, and it's uncomfortable because there's like this issue that hasn't been addressed, and and it's just weighing. Like, you, you can feel it, you can see it behind their eyes. Like, you've been talked about, but um, nobody's saying it. Like when you walk into a room, somebody's talking about you and everybody's silent or somebody walks into a room and you talk about them and you just remain silent, that type of thing. I didn't want to be cowardly and just leave because I, I, I wanted to save face. And again, not everybody, not everybody was like that. We have a good time and we, we just chill, have a cupcake or three. I try not to hurt people or be in their way and respect their autonomy and stuff like that. And it's usually at my own expense. So my takeaway from this, if you're in a situation with somebody who's like that and, and, and can't be mature and can't just face you and just like own it or stuff like that, or, or it's just, just themselves and in not the best way, just themselves and at others' expense, don't let them win. Like enjoy yourself, don't let them steal your joy, have a good time, engage everybody. Like don't take on that discomfort because you didn't put it there. You don't have to live up to that. And if you really are that uncomfortable at the party or whatever event that you are at, the, the gym or anything like that, don't be afraid to leave. But don't be afraid to come back too. Don't let them own you like that. Don't let them control you like that. And don't let them control you through fear and discomfort and things like that. Because like, just as respectful as you you would be to another human, you deserve that respect as well. My next thing to you, um, don't trust the guest list. So um, yeah, like that was a pretty, pretty crappy feeling and I hope you don't let anybody feel let you make you feel that way or put in position to take on that pressure or guilt from another person I have no idea what it means I have no idea what to make of it but I shouldn't have to and you shouldn't have to either so like love share and sub and I will see you next time bye I don't know where I'm going no I don't know what to do I'm trying to move forward, but I'm stuck on the pain of you. I'll think I'm doing better, but recovery takes time. I try my best to smile each day, but I'm dying on the inside. Why would you hurt me this way? Memories just won't fade away. Am I addicted to pain? 
I just don't know. I'm just a soul trying to be happy. I just don't know. I'm just a soul trying to be happy.